guys what is up i hope you all are doing well this is reena and today i'm going to do my second installation in my back to college series and today i'm going to take you through the basic of skincare routine now i know there are a lot of skincare routines on the internet but some of them are really expensive and some of them are really really long so we're going to make everything short and sweet and small because we are just 17 we have a lot of things other than our skin to deal with that is life school friends humans things in general homeworks if that's something you do and maybe i don't know but yeah after that we are intro of mine if you want to know what are my basic skin care routine can be followed by any college student who is 17 16 so if you want to know more about skin care then please keep on watching Let's go. So, guys, I just want to put a little disclaimer that in case if you want to know what lipstick I'm wearing, you might want to check around my last video. I'll leave it somewhere. Let's get started. So, I think if if you watched my first video, which is all about basic makeup essentials for someone who's starting with college, who haven't already seen that, I'll leave it somewhere here or here, wherever that is. If you're wearing foundation, waterproof mascara, and all that fancy stuff, you need to get rid of that makeup. because guys it's very very important i can't even tell you how important that is the few times when i did not take off my makeup i my karma hit me really bad and i got pimples and some pimples here and there as well i thought it was because of my skin care but when i was going through my vlogs like the last two that i've done uh i realized a lot of times i slept with the makeup or you know i was a little lazy to get rid of it so you have to get off the makeup that is the point let's keep it short and sweet reena i know it's hard for you but let's try doing it all right so if you have a really heavy makeup going on then the best way you can get rid of it is through oil almond oil olive oil coconut oil all sorts of oils are amazing to get rid of your makeup irrespective of you having oily skin or dry skin okay okay but if nonetheless if you want to have a good product to get rid of your makeup i think maybelline total clean is the best thing to go for it's amazing as you can see it's a well loved product just make sure that you shaking it well before using and this is like my second bottle and this will last you for a good long time i've been using this from like march and it's still not over and it's very affordable it's like for 300 rupees now if you're someone who only wears powders and maybe a little bit of mascara or kajal you don't need to buy that what you can use is wet tissues and the one i personally use and love and recommend is the clarix wet wipes to be honest i hate those kara wet wipes they are not at all wet i don't know i mean i'm talking as per makeup removing aspect i don't like them they are very dry and i feel they are useless okay let's get it real but these are really really amazing guys and there's like 30 wipes for like 90 rupees which is really inexpensive and the one i have is in lime now once you're done with getting rid of your makeup you really need to wash your face thoroughly please please wash your face but also please do not over wash your face that's very important i think you should wash your face from like 3 to 2 times maybe if you're going for gymming and you're like you're sweating a lot then maybe 3 to 4 times but not more than that especially people who have oily skin have this tendency to over wash their face because they think over washing their face will get rid of the oiliness but no that's not how it works your skin thinks that it is lacking of the oils and that will create more oil so please don't do that coming to the face wash aspect you can use so many face washes in the market currently i'm loving the vlcc wild turmeric because it's antiseptic cleanser for healthy skin and it's for all skin and since i have this pimple thing is going on i thought this would be a great thing nonetheless if you find this hard to find if you have dry skin you can use the himalaya moisturizing face wash you can use the himalaya pimple removal face wash something like that oil control something like that or else the clean and clear face wash is also amazing it's gentle it's mild and it's great so i've given you like three options three to four options to select from it's a scrub now you need not scrub your face every day maybe twice to thrice is more than enough but it's very 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 important to scrub your face ever since i've got into the whole skin care regimen and like the thing i realized what a difference can a scrub make it does so much good to your skin that you can't even think of it cleans off your pores gets rid of your dead skin gets rid of the dullness that is going on so it's very important and the one that i'm loving is from fuchsia it's their charcoal carbon scrub 
job and this is how it looks like it's so thick and it's super moisturizing uh, at least it does not dry out my face i can say and i have done a detailed review on this and i also have a 15% coupon i'll leave all the details here so you can have a look at that video but honestly i love this you can use any other scrub that you feel comfortable this one i like to use daily just because it's paraben free and it's so creamy and the granules in this are comfortable enough that i can use it on an everyday basis but again two to three times as a beginner is more than enough guys. after you're done scrubbing your face you have to moisturize your face no matter what or even if you on days when you don't scrub your face you anyways have to moisturize now again to all my oily girlfriends it's not that you don't need moisture you definitely need to use a moisturizer the only difference is that people with dry skin need something really heavy and extra moisturizing while you can use something really light and simple now the moisturizers i will recommend i have two for you and the one that I love and I use on a daily basis is by Lacme is the Maximum Moisture in Peach Milk. I really love this. It's very lightweight but still super hydrating. And this is amazing for someone who has dry to extremely dry skin. If you have really crazy oily skin, then you can use the Patanjali Aloe Vera Gel. Just need a pea size of it and you are good to go guys. Trust me on that and it also leaves a very cooling and calming feeling to your face so if you have any acne and all of that will calm them all down then the next thing is very very optional but I thought I should put it up here because every time when I hear youtubers who are in their 30s or late 30s if only one thing they could change that would be their skincare especially their eye area so hence I thought of including this again it's very optional if you have crazy uh, under eye issue uh, or you have under eye darkness you can go for the Himalaya under eye cream it retails for like 165 rupees and you literally need like a pea size like the smallest pea size ever for both the eyes and then the next one I have is for people who have puffy eyes you can use the Garnier white uh, under eye roll on it has this metal applicator which is you know it's super cooling and the gel is transparent so you can use this in the morning or in so the if night. you're someone who likes to heat style their hair or someone who has really crazy fizzy hair because of the monsoon i totally feel you you should definitely st uh, start using a serum maybe that will help you i really really love the Levon moroccan silk serum as you can see it's a well loved product and it has a pump as well so all you have to do is when your hair is damp take a pump of it and you are good to go so yeah we are done with skincare as well as hair care so somehow my intro got deleted so i'm doing my intro right now so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then please don't forget to give it a oh big thumbs up that would really really mean a lot to me also i know a lot of you guys are waiting for the giveaway results and no i'm not delaying it purposely i'm actually waiting for a special video because it's my first giveaway i want it to be really special so i'm waiting for that video once everything is in place i will announce the results don't worry i'm really sorry for the delay by the way yeah also i hope you guys are enjoying the series and let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want to see in the series i would really really love to do it for you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye